Hey folks, welcome to the kill count. I know I did like one or two videos regarding that. And I deleted it, I'm kind of sad that I did that. But either way, yeah, welcome to the kill count. I'm not James A. Janice, but instead, your other host, Matthew Logan. Probably not going to do these as often, but that's enough. Um, <clears throat> today we're looking at the man with the two identities. A short 17-minute film released in 2019 that was written, directed, and starring me. And one other, well, two other people, but whatever. So yeah, this is like one of my own fan fil uh, um, short films. I'm only really doing this one because it's like the longest one. I could do a video that's not like two minutes long on it because most of my short films are like five minutes long at most. So this is my longest one. But uh, So basically the film is about a murder that happens and the events that pertain to an officer, police officer, that's investigating after. Now the police officer is going to be wearing, like, early pajamas, but that was because I had to do this in a rushed time. But, yeah. While this, most of this film is padding, it does, I guess, make up for a somewhat high kill count. But what's the final number? Let's find out at the kills. The film starts with a person talking to another person, saying how they have to talk about something important, but they have to do it later. The other person who was cast as Lewis is fine with that and leaves. But he thinks he hears something in a room, and since I had a scene where he dies but it got deleted, I'll just put him on the kill gun anyway. He was stabbed, so yeah. We then cut to a police officer who says he is recording this footage as proof. He says photos won't do justice. Sure. He talks a little more about saying how we never see the person leaving, and yada yada. He goes onto the computer, and we get more padding like I talked about. He says how he was sorry he was being that he's being convenient and starts to go into the killer's drive. He apparently gets confused while seeing something and we cut to a video in which we are now watching. We are a person talking about life and now he wonders why he's here. I don't know, I'm just as confused as you. He then says we all get sick and we see a sick little boy cough. A person in meds, sometimes we pass away and since this is part of the film and we see the boy dead, I'll put him on the kill count. Killer cough, am I right? The person then says how the how these things are what makes us human, and shows another person, I intended it for be, to be the older brother, who is now sick. The older brother then starts punching things and screaming, then laying on the bed before leaving his life. Another one from the killer cough. We then cut to the little brother saying, Brother, is that you? To hear the other one say, Yes. How sweet. We cut to the officer on I'll call James, that's his cast name. James basically confirms those two deaths, and then gets discussed by a picture showing a dead person. Then shows a photo of the two men to James. James eventually figures out how the killer tries to make friends with the victims. We learn how this killer is actually able to be invisible. Because he says, like, I'm here on one even when I'm out. So that's why he's been getting away with these murders. Now it's time for another video inside of this video. This time, it's the killer reviewing the last guest. He says that there's four minutes of fan art, and he tries to be gritty, and there's just lots of, like, useless scenes. And just... Just saying, this is also filler. It's very obvious that it is. There was only two minutes of it, so... We then come back to James, who gets up and starts rambling about this killer pretending to be someone else as well. James also says how he found videos of movie reviews. Like, where he reviews and he almost has, like, two identities. James tries to leave, but he hears something running down. And he goes back into the room. He goes back to the computer only to hear footsteps and watches a video from the killer. Now this is my favorite scene. The killer is in robes and says how he'll cook his flesh and starts to say how he's basically everywhere, like we said before, and says how maybe you shouldn't be watching this video before getting real close and yelling, I've been two people, before signing off. James is rightfully confused and starts to stand off and take his stand up and take a, off his glasses before being grabbed by the killer who is now invisible gets his neck snapped 16 minutes in. The camera then flies around before going to the credits. Well, it looks like we took a stop at found footage land with James, but unfortunately it caused multiple fatalities. But how many? Let's find out at the numbers. Oh my god, I think he's got me. I'm so cheap to just make him invisible. By my obvious, by my obvious, obviously accurate 
count, four people died, all male, giving us a completely blueberry pie. I actually like blueberry pears, pies, and I like apple pies, or raspberry, whichever one that James did, but whatever. Either way, yes, with the runtime of 17 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 4.25 minutes. Not bad. Although, you know, it was a pretty short runtime with only a couple kills. So, a golden chainsaw for coolest kill will go to Joe, uh, Sergeant James, because it was just the most off screen on screen and most brutal the other ones were just like or just died thus Don machete will go to the first one victim lois or lewis i believe that's a now it's spelled differently but or i don't know whatever lewis because he just died the other ones at least you just saw him dead this one was just he died because i i had a del i had a scene that was now deleted and like a couple other scenes actually where he's hiding in there i was gonna say they was dead and like sean being stabbed and stuff like that but then that got deleted and then the other scenes remain were deleted so you might see in the cast that said like sleeping father he was actually in just like one brief scene he just sees the legs but then that scene was deleted so yeah and then the and sounds were like gone so it's just like this whole thing was kind of like messy a little bit but yep so, alright, thanks for watching this uh, special video. I don't really do that often. I'm actually planning on maybe making a horror movie in a couple months, maybe called Hide and Seek. I know it's kind of dumb, but it's like, you know, a couple friends, you know, just have a hangout or something like that. And then this guy, this killer, comes and, you know, he wants to play Hide and Seek. And whenever he find, seeks someone, he gets to kill them. Uh, hopefully I'll try to do it in the middle of the night, not like 12, but I don't know, maybe around like 7.30 something to like 9.30, like filming that time, something like that. And then, you know, they have to survive, you know, kill the killer. I don't know, I'm hoping for it to be like half an hour long, so I might do an actual episode on that, and that, that might be an actual like 10 minute video on. But either way, yeah. Um, the only real way that I'll most likely definitely do another episode, not being in like a couple weeks, is if we get up to six likes. If more, obviously, yeah. But if unfortunately it's deleted, then I might try to redo it or just not do it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, be great people. Yeah. Bye.